to click on the icon on the left hand side choose the playback icon and we'll get you into the new playback menu the graphical interface has changed to be a little bit more intuitive um, camera menus are uh, on the left hand side treat out time and date is going to show down here in terms of the uh, calendar anything with a blue or red indicator in the top right corner is going to indicate you have hard drive footage stored uh, so you know what days you actually can go back to um, to try to find the evidence when we click on a camera that camera will pop up automatically you'll see the timeline on the bottom you can drag that merely by grabbing the timeline and looking uh, at the different icons in terms of the red or blue. The red or the blue are going to indicate what type of video was recorded. Blue is going to be continuous, red is going to be event. If you are looking for um, a specific events that may have taken place in the field of view, every recorder now also comes standard with our smart search. Smart search allows you to use some customized tools without having to set up analytics before the fact. So we can actually come in and we can draw a grid anywhere in the field of view for motion detection and hit search. If there was motion that was filmed, the timeline will actually change to fill those areas from blue to red to show that that's where the events took place. That way you can get to that video again faster. The, the, the whole key to this is making sure you can find rele uh, relevant evidence in a timely fashion. If you wanted to get a little bit more, uh, I should say, in smart, we can also do a line crossing and you'll notice the icon changed or we can choose to draw an intrusion zone if objects were actually to intrude in this area and it'll help change that timeline event once you find the relevant video um, you can export this a couple of ways you can try to memorize the time and date down at the bottom on what you wanted to uh, record or you can actually come down and click the clipping bar We've uh, enhanced the clipping bar to actually allow you to have sliders on the beginning and the end. That way you can see down to the second what your video file is going to be. Once you find that clip, merely click on the export clip and this will allow you to choose a location for video in the log as well as export a specific player to help play any files that might ha may have a proprietary codec attached to it.